This inequality solution is hard because it includes many different steps. Many union intersection relations that can easily get you confused. And as a consequence, you end up getting everything wrong. So let's solve this step by step. For another video, we were thinking about solving its two-dimensional version. Then its three-dimensional version. And then eventually its n-dimensional version. I mean, I don't even know if it's possible. But let us know in the comment section if you guys would like to see us trying. 2x squared minus 8x over the square root of x squared minus 1 minus 2x minus 2 is greater than or equal to 0. First of all, let's study its conditions for existence. There are two of them. x squared minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0 because it's inside of the square root. And the denominator must be different than 0. So let's see the first one. x squared is greater than or equal to 1. And thus, either x is greater than or equal to 1 or x is less than or equal to minus 1. That's our first condition for x. For the second, we have that the square root of x squared minus 1 is different than 2x plus 2. Squaring both sides and rearranging the terms, we get the second degree polynomial that is different than 0. Finding the roots, we get that x is defined everywhere except on the points minus 1 and minus 5 over 3. And that's our second condition for x. Both conditions must be satisfied, which implies that we need to perform their intersection. As a result, we obtain x is less than minus 1 or x is greater than or equal to 1, with x different than minus 5 over 3, which are the correct conditions for existence. If you're enjoying this video, do not forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Now, we're ready to study the signs of the numerator and denominator. The fraction is non-negative, so either both numerator and denominator are non-negative or both are non-positive. The denominator is always non-zero, of course. In the first inequality, we factor the polynomial into 2x times x minus 4, which is greater than or equal to zero. Now this gives us two options. When a number multiplies another number and the result is greater than or equal to zero, it means that either both numbers are non-negative or that both are non-positive. In our case, our numbers are 2x and x minus 4. In the first system of inequalities, we obtain that x is greater than or equal to 4. In the second system, we have x less than or equal to 0. Since their logical relation is an or, we have to unite both results. So the final version of this condition for x is x is less than or equal to 0 or x is greater than or equal to 4. The next inequality gives us the square root of x squared minus 1 is greater than 2x plus 2. I remind you that squaring both sides here is tempting, but not correct. Instead, we notice that this inequality is valid only when either x squared minus 1 is greater than or equal to 0, and 2x plus 2 is less than 0, or when 2x plus 2 is greater than or equal to 0, and x squared minus 1 is greater than the square of 2x plus 2. Can you tell why? Let me know in the comments section your thoughts about it. The very first one gives x greater than or equal to 1, or x is less than or equal to minus 1. And the second, x is less than minus 1. Performing the intersection of these results, we get x is less than minus 1. This is for the first system of inequalities. In the second system, the first one gives us x is greater than or equal to minus 1. And the second is a second degree polynomial. Finding its roots, we see that the parabola is negative for x between minus 5 over 3 and minus 1. The next step is to perform the intersection of these two results, which is empty. So only the first system of inequalities gives us relevant information about x, since at the end of the day, the union between x less than minus 1 and the empty interval is x less than minus 1. Looking at the system of inequalities now, we have that 2x times x minus 4 is less than or equal to 0, which must be split into two cases, 2x non-positive and x minus 4 non-negative, or 2x non-negative and x minus 4 non-positive. For the first one, the intersection is empty, so it won't contribute to the final result, since it is a union. For the second, the intersection is 0, is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4. And now the last one, the square root of x squared minus 1, is less than 2x plus 2. For this inequality to be satisfied, three things must happen. x squared minus 1 must be greater than or equal to 0, 2x plus 2 must be greater than 0, and x squared minus 1 must be less than the square of 2x plus 2. The first gives us that either x is greater than or equal to 1, 
or x is less than or equal to minus 1. The second, x is greater than minus 1. The third, either x is less than minus 5 over 3 or x is greater than minus 1. Now we perform their intersection. The result is x is greater than or equal to 1. The final step is to put everything we found out in the video together. x is less than or equal to 0, or x is greater than or equal to 4, intersected with x less than minus 1. Then perform its union with the intersection between 0 less than or equal to x, less than or equal to 4, and x greater than or equal to 1. And finally, perform the intersection with the conditions for existence. The final result is either x is less than minus 1, or 1 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 4. Also, give us some cool video ideas. And if you like this video, watch this one right here. I'm sure you're gonna love it. See you there.